Watch us trade live right before your eyes from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. every market day, Pacific time. Join us now only on SwissFT.com. Good day, traders. This is Richard. It's, it's Friday, April 19th, 2024. We're looking at a montage of six instruments. Oil, Dow, S&P, on the bottom row, gold, silver, the treasury bond. I changed the time frame from 15 minute to 60 minute so we could forecast the day. And I did that on the four, on one instrument to give you an example how you can forecast out a day using the ABCDs that you have at your your fingertips from looking at a 60 minute chart. So I'm going to change these instruments to 60 minutes and see if I can do it again here, duplicate it kind of. So I'm changing it from 15 minutes to hourly, all hourly. So I I bought the, on the other computer, I bought oil. And I'm going to do it again because it's trying to go up, but it hasn't made very much progress yet. So I'm going to turn on my chart trader and I'm going to turn on my, there it is. That's the uh, order submitted, order filled. All right. And now I'm going to draw the, I've already got a an old fib on here. So I'm going to remove that. There's another fib here that is somewhat dated. If I can find the anchor so I can delete it. There it is. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if this goes down and makes a new low. We want out. Here's the low right there at 81.13. I got to move this down a little bit lower. That's 81.11. And the low is, there's a low over here. So I'm going to use that low. This is the current low. That's about a day ago. Actually, exactly a day ago. So I like this, I like this oil long here. I'm going to use the... Uh, Order submitted. Order filled. I'm not going to risk as much money with this one. I'm going to watch it rather close. A little bit more. This is the official stop. This needs to turn white. That black candle right there needs to turn white. It was white when I got in the uh, simulator, but it's still trying to decide that it wants to go up. The buyers need to come in with more money. Look how much bearish cumulative, cumulative bearish volume. All these black candles here. All those little red candles added up to all these big black candles. And then the last two candles have been green. And just to make a, add clarity to these charts. Okay, so what we're expecting to happen is it to go up. I'm going to add another indicator on here. If I can find the indicators. Okay, now it's right here. Now we've got price action swing on the chart. It gives us a preview of ABCD. It gives us preview of ABC. It doesn't give us D. It gives us AB and it gives us C, but we don't get a D. We have to figure out the D. And our D is right here. We're expecting price to inflect right here and go up from this down move because of these bottoming tails. And I'm going to draw in here what we expect to happen. So something about like this. So I'm going to turn that around using this arrow. Got to turn off the snap function. It's disabled now. Now we got one with the arrow pointing up and one with the arrow pointing down. So we need to angle it like that and put it right about here. And that's what we expect price to do over the next hour or two. It may take two hours. How long did it take to get down here? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hours. It took us to get down to that low. We have a new candle right here. We just got a new one. That that that's down there, isn't it? I'm not sure that's a new candle. Let's add another indicator here. Okay. So we don't have a new candle. This is the current candle. It's an hour candle. And uh, we could change this to a 15-minute chart. We get a little more detail but I want to think in terms of an hour. So let's just look at the 15 minute for a minute. It's been consolidating quite a bit in here. It's trying to go up now. It's been trying to find a bottom for about an hour. 
and it's come all the way down to here and it's gone all the way up to there and then it's come down and it came all the way down to here. Now it's back up here trying to go up. So it's got a lot of foot winds, <laughs> head winds, foot winds, back winds, meaning it's being pushed back by the wind, by the other team. The buyers want in, they want to push it up, but the bears are saying, we like what we got here. We're trying to keep it. We want price to continue to go down. So there's resistance. And we're trading well. We're trading down here well below the pivot, below support one and below support two, almost getting not close to support three. But we're down here in that neighborhood, and this is where it will turn. Now that we've got our trade on this, let's see what else is going on. Here's uh, the Dow. Now we know the Dow is bullish. So is the S&P. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Let's add a new chart in Q right there. Okay. Now let's stick it right in here. So now we've got the in Q. You can see it's bullish too. Look how bullish the S&P is. It's, yes, the S&P has been bullish all, all night ever since ever since eight o'clock last night. And here's the daybreak. It's just when the Europeans took over. So the indexes are strong. That's good news. And here's three of them right here. There's the Dow. Here's the NASDAQ. Let's look at the Dow. The Dow's strong. The NASDAQ looks strong. That's 240 instead of 60 minutes. Let's fix that. Now, gold. Gold is looking like it's ready to perk up. And silver wants to, it's working on getting long, coming up from this Low down here, right there at the primary pivot. Now, where are we? At? Where's that primary pivot on gold? It's right a little bit below it, and we're right in it here on silver. And I would say that the, the treasury looks a little bit stronger. I'm going to draw an ABC on this low up to that high. It's already half two thirds drawn in. Looks like that's what it wants to do. Go up there to 116 and a quarter, way down here at 114 and a quarter. is It's not really a quarter. It, that's almost 117 because it's three. this is three quarters of a point right here, 25 ticks. There's 32 ticks in this point, and each tick is worth quite a bit, about $31, and I think it's 15 cents. It may be 25 cents. I can't remember. But it's over $30, one of the biggest ticks we know. And we've got 25, 30 seconds, which is well over 75% of a tick, of a point. I'm tempted to buy this too. Order submitted. Order filled. Oh, it's getting dicey. You know, 60 bucks. You know, we're bearish. The trend is bearish on this oil. Has been this week, all week. See, we were bullish all the way up to here. Let's go back. About as far back as it wants me to let me go. I should be able to squish a little bit more out of it, but it doesn't want me to. So anyway, we've got we're going back to February. This is March 22nd. So if I get this out of the way, we can see we're going back to March. Uh, looks like 15th, 14th there, and I can't seem to move it over anymore. So we had a really bullish early April, and since the April the Eighth, fourth, we've been going down. This is April fourth, is where we found a top, and we've been going down ever since. But we did try to make it higher here. I don't know if we did or not. Let's take a vertical bar on that and see. No, it's a double top, and the double type was 87.12, the recent high. In short, the Europe right hand trade ping pong and at the pivot point and an ABCD completion. Sell the euro. 6E. Is this a form of topping tail? Yeah. Order submitted. You Order hit buy, it'll be a sell. I want to sell the euro. Order canceled. Order submitted. Order submitted. Reversing. Order filled. Order filled. Well, we're about to get stopped out of this. This thing doesn't want to go down yet. Stop filled. Too strong. This was a right hand trade. This probably was a right hand trade too. It probably was a double top when we started with a topping tail, but it too strong to sell. It's trying to remove my malware and I Join us now only on SwissFT.com. 